Hey, what's up? It's been a while since I've put out a video. I am currently doing a water change. I just got back on from a little vacation. And just give you guys a quick look on what's going on. I put my pump into there and it wraps around into my laundry room. Put all these towels down just from the experience that I have. I make a mess, so that's where it ends up. I'm gonna pause it and then what I'm gonna do is show you the opposite way. Just got done draining it to hair, so you can't really see it draining, but I'm sure you get the point. Fish are all doing very well. Right here, where is it? Right there. That's the Malawi hawk. He already doubled in size. It's one of two, which is cool. I don't know if you guys can hear my TV in the background. We got Dion going. <laughs> new video he just put out pretty cool you guys should check it out so yeah give me one second all right so no longer after I paused the video and walked into here I ended up spilling the water on the floor right here I had a towel there and a towel there and the water got right there so I guess it doesn't really matter what you're playing for something can always happen so it's a lot easier with this pump though but what I normally do is I just put the hose onto that power head right there so it kind of stops the flow a little bit, breaks it down so that it's not flowing into the water as strong and blowing the sand around everywhere. And what I also like to do is right here I have a bucket. I just clamp this to the bucket and it kind of regulates the flow a little bit. And at the same time, it also stops it from going into my laundry tub because I really don't want, I don't want it going into the laundry tub, filling up that way because I don't know if my fiance, if she ends up, you know, pouring laundry. So whatever, whatever goes down there, I know I'm sure she rinses it out, but it's just that thought, you know, I mean, I'm just better off using a bucket. So it's an idea you guys have it already thought about something like that but I like to use the pump I have not cleaned the glass my main concern was to feed these guys and do a pretty decent water change so probably in a couple days I'm gonna do another another small water change this was kind of large but next one I'll do a small large small water change clean the glass and I am going to vac vacuum the sand and all the tanks That's can't believe how big these guys are doing or how good they're doing and how big they're getting right now all their color is gone they're kind of been going nuts there's the Malawi Hawks Brusco that guy back there is a red empress like I said, he's, they've lost a lot of color right now just from me scaring the shit out of them. I've had the lights off for a little while now, so turning the lights on and doing all this at once is... Hopefully doesn't put them through too much stress, but... Normally they're all swimming around there, going nuts during a water change. And before I left, I purchased some cichlid trays. Never tried it before. Figured I'd give it a shot and see how good it was and I don't know this is the only thing I did different before I left besides not feed for almost two days and I came back and those Malawi Hawks have I mean they're just doubled in size I have pictures I'll either try to include them or if you want you can go back in my one of my recent videos and check out the size of them and compare them to now and you'll see yourself I mean this is literally all I've used so it's good stuff yeah, that's how I do my water changes. I just use this pump on everything, literally. I have this tank going. I put it on some some blocks. I got this up and running a couple weeks ago. It's doing pretty good. I'll give you guys a video on that sometime soon. Just been pretty busy, so I've been kind of trying to pick and choose what I should do and what I shouldn't do. And also just trying to maintain this tank, well, all three tanks. 
Right now I am in the process of debating because I put this on here, this background, just a piece of paper. Kind of gave up on taping it. I could put some more tape. But my solution is I think I am going to be ordering another aqua decor background. And I'm debating right now because once this tank, once these guys grow up, I didn't plan on getting as many as I have. But once these guys grow up a little bit, I'm going to decide on which ones I want to keep and which ones I don't. Or maybe I'll just keep them all, I'm not sure. But my plan is to build a, a larger tank, upper in a, between I'd say about a 540 gallon is what the dimensions came out to be. But I think I can go a little bit bigger which that tank will go in place of the 125 eventually. I'm gonna take out those cabinets and build it from the ground up. But I have a lot of planning going into that, so it's gonna take a little while and I'll bring you guys along the way. But for now, when this tank is done being a grow out for these haps, I think I'd like to try discus maybe, or a planet tank, or maybe both. So uh, I've seen the DIY guys, uh, the king of DIY, Go Joey's new tank, his discus tank, and I'm really liking that tank. I don't know what it is. I've seen similar style tanks before that because I'm, uh, I, I liked Aqua Decor's page on Facebook and followed, and also on Twitter and Instagram, and I've seen similar tanks like that, like I said, that style, and I fell in love with that style, so I think that's the one I'm going to be going with. It was either that or there's, um, it's a toss up. I have another one that I really like too. And I'm not quite sure about that one though. But either way, I think it would be pretty nice in here, but I'm just not sure how to do it with these tidal waves hanging on the back here. I'd like to hide them, so maybe they can do something to hide these. I don't really want to purchase new filtration just to get a background, so. I'm either going to get a slim background or that style background and put discus in here eventually. But, yeah. I haven't really put out much lately because there really hasn't been much to put out. I was going to pick up a couple fish for my LFS recently and I did not end up picking them up. So, there will be a video on that soon to come. But my next step is like i said growing these guys out growing all of the guys out and getting that big tank going and right now i think I'm, i might be purchasing two other fish i'm trying to find them one is the modoko white lips uh i can't find it anywhere it's a hard fish to find at the moment i see people have them and i see people have colonies of them at this point i mean so i'm going to reach out to a few people and see if they want to sell some, see how that goes. But if any of you watch this video and have them, let me know. I'm willing to pay and pay for the shipping and I would appreciate it. So yeah, that's my update and I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's how I do a water change. I will talk to you guys soon, later.